This is Dr. Brendan Cronin from the Queensland Eye Institute. I'm going to talk you through a phototherapeutic keratectomy. This is a procedure that's performed by a laser where we remove diseased cornea from the surface of the eye to try and improve patient's vision. The machine used is very similar to that used for laser eye surgery to get people out of glasses, but in a PTK, the aim is definitely not to get the patient seeing well out of glasses. It's often just to get them seeing well full stop be that in a special type of contact lens or seeing well in glasses. We use the procedure for irregular astigmatism, post-corneal transplants, corneal scarring, keratoconus, corneal dystrophies and recurrent erosion syndromes. You could see there I'd removed the surface layer of cells from that patient's eye called the epithelium. And removing those surface cells then exposes the layer of the eye underneath that we're lasering away in different conditions. Obviously, there'll be variations for whatever disease we're performing the procedure for. You can see the laser actually uh, happening on a patient's eye here. And this lasers away the diseased cornea. Say, for example, in a patient with a corneal transplant, we might be lasering away irregular astigmatism and also some scarring. The procedure is very uncomfortable afterwards, unfortunately. It's not uncomfortable at all having the procedure. In fact, patients can even be sedated, so they may not remember any of the procedure at all. It's performed in a hospital, and I'm proud to say we have the only hospital-based eczema laser in Queensland, so the only place you can have this done uh, automatically on your private health fund, and the only place you can have an anaesthetist sedate you. It's really important that patients understand that phototherapeutic therapeutic keratectomies are not to get them out of glasses. There's a different procedure that, to that called a photorefractive keratectomy or a PRK. Health funds definitely do not pay for that procedure and that has nothing to do with Medicare. This is a therapeutic procedure to get patients seeing well again. At the end of the procedure, an anti-scarring agent called mitomycin is put onto the cornea to reduce the incidence of something called corneal haze that can reduce patient's vision in the longer term if it occurs. We only need to do this when we've had to laser away a lot of tissue. Patients are given a fairly strict post-operative regime of eye drops and uh, painkillers. It is uncomfortable for a few days, so patients are given a lot of analgesia so they can go home and be comfortable. Just closing both eyes for a couple of days tends to work very, very well. In this case, I put a bandaged contact lens onto the patient's eye it's a special lens that works a little bit like a band-aid to keep the eye as comfortable as it can be for a few days afterwards. It's really, really important that patients use their post-operative drops to avoid the risk of infection as they can be devastating to the condition and health of the cornea and of course the vision afterwards. And using some lubricating drops is so important to help the recovery of the eye. These eyes often dry out after surgery and the special bandage contact lens will be very uncomfortable if it dries out.